In some of the previous lab, if you recall, we had added a couple of LUNs and we ended up creating a data store on those LUNs and on those data stores now we can go ahead and create a VMDKs. But ESX does provide a functionality where if we want, we can go ahead and map our raw devices which are called RDM raw device mappings we can go ahead and assign our raw device directly to our virtual machines also and it's very simple let's go ahead and uh, try doing that so right click on one of your vm let's say in this case we want to go ahead and assign an rdm to our vm2 so simply go ahead and right click on vm2 go to the edit setting and within the edit setting page we have an option that says new device so using this new device you can go ahead and add any kind of a device let's say you need to add a new hard drive you need to add a new network you need to add any kind of a PCI device. You can definitely make use of this new device functionality. And at the bottom, it says, okay, the compatibility is ESXi and the version of the VM we are working is the VM version is being 13. So right now we are interested with the RDM mapping. So simply go ahead and click on RDM disk. Once you select the RDM disk, we can just simply go ahead and click add here. So now we are being presented with the list of possible target LUNs that we can pick as one of our RDM device. So in this case, let me go ahead and select our LUN number four and we will be mapping the LUN number four inside our VM. If everything looks okay, let's go ahead and simply click okay here. Once that is done, you can see the size of that RDM or that LUN is 100 gig. That's what we need. Simply go ahead and click OK. The changes should be done pretty quick. Now, once the changes are done, we can go ahead and power on our VM. So now let's go ahead and power on this particular VM. And we will go ahead and connect to this particular VM's console. So let me go ahead and click on the console and it will be a couple of seconds. Let's log into our VM. Our PM VM just got powered on. Let me quickly log into the VM. Once we are logged on to the VM, we will go back again to the manage and disk management. So now let's go under start, right click on computer and click on manage as the option. Once we are within the management console and let's go under the disk management right now. And as you can see, we are being presented with the initialized disk and with the initialized disk, if you can take a look here, it says disk one unknown 100 gig and non-initialized. That means our VM is successfully able to access the RDM. And now on this disk, we can go ahead and create a file system and we can allocate uh, this disk or this LUN or this RDM directly inside the VM. That way we are bypassing the ESXi layer in terms of creating a data store and creating a VMDK and using that. So uh, that's how you can go ahead and initialize. I will not go ahead and initialize. So I will just simply go ahead and click cancel here let me go ahead and close this one and probably i'll go ahead and shut down this vm now let's go ahead and quickly come out and i'll go ahead and power off this vm to speed up the process and we will go ahead and remove the newly mapped rdm disk from this particular vm so just simply right click on your vm again and go back to the edit setting as one of the option and within the edit setting you would see the hard disk number two which has a capacity of 100 gig so if you click on hard disk two we have a cross icon if you click on this icon that says remove, so that's what we want. We want to remove this RDM uh, from this VM. So simply go ahead and click on remove. And now you being see the color being changed. Disk will be removed. Delete files from, if you want to delete any files which are on the data store, you can go ahead and do that. Delete files from the data store. And now simply go ahead and hit okay here. And in a couple of seconds, the RDM will be removed for this particular VM. And just to confirm, you can again right click, go back to edit setting, and we should not see disk number two anymore. And that's the case, we don't see disk number two anymore. That means that RDM is available, and we, if you want, we can go ahead and map that RDM to a different device, or we can go ahead and create a data store on that one. That'll be all for this lab.